Hallelujah to the mighty God. I want you, as you're listening to me right now, to cry out for the mercy of the Lord. Pray Jesus. James chapter 2 verse 13 says, I will have judgment without mercy upon those that have showed no mercy. And mercy rejoice over judgment. Hallelujah. That is, mercy prevail over judgment. Mercy pardon and overlook your error, your mistakes. Mercy pardon whatever you might have done wrong, your shortcomings, whatever you must have done that have cost you, that could make you to be judged, to be condemned, to be dealt with. Mercy, say mercy pardon you. Mercy overlook it. Hallelujah. If you study the Bible very well, you will see that God created all things because of his mercy that endure forever. You can go and study Psalm 136. He even divided the rest into part for his mercy that endure forever. You see, he overthrew the enemy of his people, Pharaoh and his host, in the Red Sea, for his mercy and dread forever. He led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy and dread forever. Remember, he says as well that I will have mercy upon whom I will have mercy. I will have compassion upon whom I will have compassion. Hallelujah. So now, whatever, let's say, maybe any opportunities that you have lost in the past, that you are now regretting, even till now, that you're thinking maybe all hope is gone. Mercy is still available. Mercy can still speak for you. Hallelujah. Maybe because of your own error, mistake, or even sin or anger. You see, we're going to cry out for mercy. Or maybe years that have been wasted in your life and you are now living in the consequences of it even till now. Or maybe frustrating you. Or maybe the mistakes of your own parent that you are now suffering the consequences of it now. Mercy can change things. Hallelujah. Mercy is not that you earn it. It's just mercy. And the Bible says in Matthew, uh, Matthew chapter 7 verse 7 that we should ask, it shall be given unto us. Hallelujah to the mighty God. I want you to cry out. Hallelujah. Say, O oh Lord my God. Let your mercy prevail in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, let your mercy prevail over my past error in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, O oh Lord my God, by your mercy that endure forever, let every good opportunity that I have lost in the past be restored back unto me in sevenfold in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to the mighty God. You see, in Joel chapter 2, verse 25, the Lord said, I will restore unto you the years that the locust has eaten, the, the, the pamawam and the caterpillar. Hallelujah. My great army which I sent among you. The verse 26 says, And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. When ye wasted years have been restored, it says you will eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the Lord your God that has dealt wondrously with you. Hallelujah. And my people shall no longer be ashamed. Praise Jesus. Say, O oh Lord my God, restore back unto me in ten folds all my wasted years, for your mercy endure forever. In the name of Jesus. Say, Father, I cry out for your mercy. Let every of my wasted years be restored back unto me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my Father, every good doors that have been closed against me as a result of my mistake or my sin. Father, oh Lord, have mercy. Let those doors begin to open unto me now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. See, it is not of him that will and not of him that run it, but of the Lord that showed mercy. And that mercy is only God that decides who he show mercy. Pray Jesus. You see, in Isaiah 54 verse 10 says, The mountain shall depart and the hill shall be removed. Hallelujah. But my kindness shall not depart from thee, neither shall the covenant of my peace be removed. Says the Lord God that have mercy on you. Hallelujah. Say, by the mercy of the Lord, let every mountain that are blocking my way depart now in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the hills that are hindering me, let them be removed now by the mercy of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. Say, O oh Lord my God, have mercy upon me. Restore back unto me the years that have been wasted over my career in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father and my God, every wasted year over my business, O oh Lord, restore them back unto me in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, he said you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. Say, in the name of Jesus Christ, this year, even this year, I shall eat in plenty by the mercy of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Say, I will eat in plenty and be satisfied in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Don't lose all. Don't lose all. Maybe over your career, you have made some, some bad decisions and you are now suffering the consequences of it now. Maybe 
So whatever anybody have done against you, you have lost some good opportunities, or maybe you you miss promotion or whatsoever. Hallelujah. You see, mercy of God can still restore those back unto you, and you shall eat in plenty. Maybe because of your behavior, you have missed, you have lost some good people in your life that could have blessed you. Mercy can still restore them back unto you, unto you, unto you now. Say, oh Lord my God, every good things, good people that I have lost in my life, as a result of my bad behavior, Father, have mercy upon me. Restore them back unto me in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, oh Lord my God, by your mercy that endure forever, restore my finances in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, let me eat in plenty and be satisfied, even in this season, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. Mercy prevail over judgment. Say, oh Lord my God, let your mercy prevail over my error, over my mistakes, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your mercy speak for me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, O Lord my God, anywhere my name is mentioned, let your mercy speak for me, O Lord. Let your mercy speak for me, O Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, by the mercy of God, I prophesy upon my life, this week I will be at the right place, doing the right thing, receiving the right responses, in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, this week, by the mercy of God, I will receive the right blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. Say this week, by the mercy of God, I shall be connected with my divine helpers in the name of Jesus. This week, by the mercy of God, I shall be connected with my divine helpers in the name of Jesus. This week, by the mercy of God, I shall be reconnected with my divine helpers in the name of Jesus Christ. Say every good thing that I have lost in the past, by the mercy of God, I receive them back in ten folds in the name of Jesus Christ. That promotion that I have lost, say it, say that promotion that I have lost by the mercy of God, I receive, receive it back in ten folds in the name of Jesus Christ. Say every good doors that's supposed to have brought me financial blessing that I have lost, that have been closed against me. Oh Lord my God, by your mercy, reopen those doors and let me be blessed and eat and be satisfied in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. Mercy prevail over judgment. Hallelujah. Mercy prevail over judgment. You see, you see that James chapter 2, verse 13, say he will, he will have judgment upon those. He will have judgment without mercy upon those that have shown no mercy. Right now, if you can remember, examine yourself. Maybe you have some people in your mind that you have not forgiven. They wrong you and you refuse to forgive them. You too have to show mercy. You have to be merciful. Because you are crying for mercy now. You yourself have to be merciful to those that have wronged you and forgive. Don't have, don't let people be living in your heart free of charge and you'll be going to bear with them. Free them so that you yourself can be healed and be free and you don't hinder your own blessing. You free them. You release them from your heart. Don't, don't wound yourself. Don't kill yourself. Release them from your heart. You see that scripture very well. James chapter 3, chapter 2, verse 13. Go and study it. Meditate on it. He said, I will have judgment without mercy upon those that have showed no mercy. And mercy rejoice over judgment. Mercy prevail over judgment. Mercy triumphs over judgment. So you to right now, take a moment to begin to release those that have, that have wronged you. Begin to release them now. Begin to release them now so that you don't be an entrance to your own prayer, to your own blessing. Begin to release them now. Begin to have mercy now. Begin to have mercy now. If you have to cause some people to let them know you are forgiving them, do so. And if you know you have wronged someone and you refuse to amend, to make amend or to apologize, to say sorry, begin to do it. Take your phone, call them, tell them you're sorry. Just swallow your pride so that you don't be the enemy of your own prayer. Hallelujah. So that you don't block the mercy of God upon your own life. Hallelujah. Begin to release them now. Begin to release them now. Begin to release them now. Hallelujah. As you do so, I prophesy upon you. Let the mercy of God begin to speak for you now. Everywhere you go this week, let the mercy of God begin to speak for you. In the name of Jesus. Those that are supposed to bless you, that are supposed to help you, that they have turned their back against you, by the mercy of God, let them begin to embrace you now and bless you in the name of Jesus. Those opportunities you have lost, by the, by the mercy of the Lord, you are taking them back. You are taking them back. You are taking them back. Pursue, overtake, and recover. All by the mercy of the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Maybe you are listening to me right now. You have not given your life to Christ. Or maybe you, 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 you just 
walk away from Christ because of whatever you might be going through. That this opportunity is open for you now to to be connected back to Christ or to give your life to Christ. We all see what is going on all around the world. We don't need anybody to tell you now the end is 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 here. Is 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 fast coming. Jesus is coming soon. Hallelujah. Jesus is coming soon. Whatever things that you need to repent from, repent. There's a pastor that shared a dream that he had. Somebody sent him a thousand. A thousand. Some money to give to some workers in the church. And for whatever reason, he spent that money thinking he would take care of it later. He now had a dream. That was a boss that was taking people to heaven. So, for him to go into the bus, the bus was shot against him. You see, he was not crying for them to open the door. To open the door, he heard a voice. Because you have eaten the money that does not belong to you. You have missed the bus to heaven. The man woke up from that dream. He was so terrified. He immediately went to, to restore that money. To return that money back. To give it to the right people. You see, Jesus is coming soon. Whatever sin that you know now, or anything you know you are doing that is that you know that is not right, repent now. Hallelujah. So if you want to give your life to Christ now, please say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for this moment. I confess myself as a sinner. I believe you are the Son of God. Please, I believe that you died, God raised you from the dead. Please come into my life right now. Be my Lord and my Savior, now and forevermore. Amen. In the name of Jesus. As you have confessed Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are saved. Hallelujah. I pray. Let the Lord give you the grace not to return back to your sin, not to return back to your past in the name of Jesus Christ. By the mercy of the Lord that endure forever, we shall all end well by his mercy in the name of Jesus. Go forth this week and enjoy the mercies of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Go forth and be enveloped with the mercy of God in the name of Jesus. Go forth and testify by the mercy of God in the name of Jesus. Go forth this week and be blessed by the mercy of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Every wasted year in your life, the years that have been wasted in your life, I prophesy by the mercy of the Lord, the Lord shall give you achievement that will swallow your past failure in the name of Jesus. Your wasted years, the Lord shall restore them back unto you and you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied to the glory of God in the name of Jesus. This week, you shall not be ashamed in the name of Jesus. This week, you will not be reproached in the name of Jesus. The Lord bless you. Share this message. Please, if you have not yet subscribed, subscribe and also click the notification button so that I can receive notification when I upload a new video. The Lord bless you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.